Throughout the history of classical style music, wonderful masses by such well-known composers as Mozart, Bach, and Beethoven have been a part of traditional performances by choirs and music groups. That includes the Gardner-Webb University Choral Union, a part of the School of Performing and Visual Arts. However, they are getting ready for something a little different during this semester's Choral Union concert as they present the world-beloved A Bluegrass Mass. That's right, bluegrass, but not full bluegrass or in the sense you might think. Dr. Paul Etter, Director of Choral Activities and Coordinator of Sacred Music at Gardner-Webb, explains the steps he took after hearing about such a production. There are hints of bluegrass, but mostly it is a very classical uh, choral work. and. As I was thinking about this last year and then Earl Scruggs passed away, I thought this might be kind of a, a nice a tip of the hat to him. Not necessarily a dedication to him, but uh, a, a tip of the hat for his um, contribution to the music world as a whole. Scruggs, a pioneer in bluegrass music, grew up in the Flint Hill community, which is part of Bowling Springs, where Gardner Webb is located. Scruggs had a long, amazing career in show business that helped him earn a Grammy and induction into the Country Music Hall of Fame. He passed away in March of 2012. It's not something that I normally would do for Choral Union. Choral Union is usually a requiem the Messiah, the creation, something big and with orchestra in front, but this kind of stretched me a little bit, and we like to be stretched. Etter had his mind made up about trying something new, but how would it go over with his students, especially when he said the word bluegrass? It has been a challenge, but they have come to really enjoy it, and I have too. Uh, something completely different than just about anything that we have ever done. Since the Bluegrass Mass is only about 30 minutes long, I needed something in the front part of the concert. And so I let the choir choose their five favorite songs that they've done over the past year. And we're going to do those to kind of set the stage and then we will move into the Bluegrass Mass. Come experience a Gardner-Webb Choral Union event like no other before. The world beloved of Bluegrass Mass is free and open to the public Sunday, April 21st at 3 p.m. in the Dover Theater located inside the Lou Shelton Convocation Center.